All right, so we're going to talk about both matches regarding all three of these individuals here. First, Christian Cage defending the Impact World Champion against Josh Alexander. Um, Holy thing, fuck, what a match. It was a great match. Um, the family was right there in front of it. I felt that emotion with yes. it. Yes. And it was just a great back and forth. Christian was he was well, not I was, I was kind of concerned about Josh Alexander holding his own against Christian Cage but man he he delivered and over delivered yep um a lot of people were saying that Josh Alexander is he really that singles person he is that singles person oh yeah and he is so freaking good I see a lot of Kurt Angle in him oh I yeah really do and you know coming back from the injury he won the world title in front of his family they were all in there and then the moose cash in in front of his wife and his son. Right. <laughs> that was, you couldn't have written that better. Right. It was so good. Big spear, pin, one, two, three. Right moose. in front. Oh, and did you, I remember, the one thing I remember is is the wife mm -hmm. and the kid around Josh Alexander's face. And Moose is just standing on, like standing Cobra. over him. And with holding the title, the belt. holding the what, belt. What a, what a <laughs> shot, man. What a damn shot. This whole scenario from uh, Christian Cage tapping out to the ankle lock for yeah. the win. Uh, the hug after because, you know, there was a lot of respect there that both of these guys yep. literally like grew up like within like a 15-mile radius from each other. Yep. And... Uh, and, and then, then the moose Christian ending. Christian Cage going off to do his thing back in AEW, yep. and then he got Moose. Finally, we got a world what, championship what out of Moose. What an amazing ending to this show! Now, uh, we'll we are not only going to make Impact Wrestling and Bound for Glory Majestic again and Pro Wrestling Majestic again, but I want to talk a little bit at the very end about our experience there and also what happened after. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's. All right, let's make this shit majestic again. Um, here's the one thing that I would have said that would have made this a little bit better. I would have had Josh Alexander do a little bit more to Moose during the match. No. No? No. You really think the one move, pin one, two, three, was better than him working his way up? Like the chaos and everything happening. Yeah, we don't need to have another match. <laughs> Not a long match. Could have been like a minute, 20 seconds or something, and everything would have been fine. No, it was perfect. Right in front of the family, too, and that makes the pain extra special. I, no, I, I don't know. Nope. I feel like that would have been different. Um, no, I no, no. We're going to save that for our next event, Turning Point. We're going to save that match for Turning Point. Yes. We'll, 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 oh, also, we got tickets to the Turning Point, so we'll be talking about that. And we're going to be front row. Now, um, with Hard to Kill... Do you think there's going to be a three-way with Christian, Alexander, and Moose? Maybe. Not he, sure. I'm not 100% sure. But I can see that. But I know that Christian is going to take some time off. He's going to take some time off? I think so because he has that shoulder He had the shoulder tape. Oh, yeah. He had the shoulder tape. Yeah, yeah. I did see that. So, so. he's probably going to nurse that back to health. And right. It, it was probably good enough to at least do this. Give him yep. a couple of weeks. Yep. No problem. Yeah. Not a problem. I wouldn't have booked as anything different. Not a 0.0% .0 difference. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. An amazing match. I would have done... The Good Brothers were I would have, of like... I would have done a little bit more build to a match yeah. like this. I think that... This was, this was literally booked like two days before the event. It was. Um, which wasn't bad, it, you know, and then they tried to build a storyline around it. I just, you know, I think that it's time for the Good Brothers to kind of move forward with different people. Though. Yes. This was definitely like a filler because everyone was involved in other things. Right. And, you know, Finn Juice, they were involved with Bullet Club. Why are they going for the tag team belts? This was, I feel like this was a thrown together match. It was. And that's kind of what I did not want. Yeah, it was a thrown together match. So I probably would have done something a little bit different if they wanted to do this match, build to it. Because right. the Good Brothers were like, oh, why are we here? We should have a match there. Okay, let's just throw this together. No, right. I don't want that with a – especially with a title match. Right. If it was not a title match, I, I wouldn't have cared. Right, but – Yeah. Um, I would have really pushed – for other people, and I would not have had maybe some of the older guys like Dale Torborn. It was not necessary. Well, I they tried. They tried to get. They tried to I get Adam had, Chair. I would have had like Willie Mack or something in there. Right. It's fine if you had like people that were in your roster go for this opportunity. Like it was not that bad. No, like, come on. 
No, no. Have some women in it. Like, let's spice it up a little bit. Like, come right. on. I mean, you already had them. Might as well put in more. Right. That would have been cool. Mm-hmm. No. You want to do something stupid. Um, I'm not sure if I would do anything different with this. No, I don't think they, so. They had a good rivalry going into it. Um, with you're, you're coming... establishing a great tag team, possibly going for the tag team champions. Wink, wink, and nudge, exactly. nudge. Exactly. Because it's already done with Violent by Design right. and, and with Rhino and Slater. Right. Um, or Peeth, excuse me. Um, here's what I probably would have done different. I would have had Rhino go in there and really tease the hell out of even um, goring Heath. Mm-hmm. And then churning and goring like Joe Doring, going outside and then going for the tag. Right. I think that would have added that additional emotion instead of just going there and then going for the tag immediately. Eh, yeah. Well, I would have I would have booked that a little bit better because I swear if he was gonna go for the spear, people were like no, don't do it, and then going the other person, that place would have erupted. That place would have blown up. Exactly. Um, I wouldn't have done anything different. No. This, the, the, I think the triple threats going into it was great. This match exceeded my expectations. Yeah, it did. And it established three new contenders for the X Division champion, including the new champion. So right, exactly. Great, great all the way around. I couldn't have made this any more majestic, even if I tried. <sighs> yeah. I wouldn't have. I really wouldn't have done anything different, to be no, honest with you. Not really. Um, Decay were just kind of lingering on these it was belts. A, it's a great debut, and also Impact is building in a lot of great tag teams. And, and, in they, their and they, needed, they needed to hit with some. Oomph yeah, when going live on paper because I think there was a lot of flack. There was a lot of flack with bringing back the uh, Impact Knockout Tag Team Champions because the roster wasn't and, and very have, big. And having the inspiration, but in there. but now they have the manpower in there and they're re-legitimatizing that division. Exactly, it, it works out really well. I'm excited. Yeah, and then with this, this exceeded my expectations. I'm. I'm curious to see what they're going to right. do it's with Right, it's TBD. It. We don't know. But it was a great first showing for this. It absolutely was. All right, so after that, Pina Gallery, let's talk about our experience, and let's talk about what happened before and after. Well, we didn't really do much. We were just sitting well, at the okay. bar. Well, well, <laughs> well, here's the thing. So we always go to the TGI Fridays there. Also, you can fi- um, find us there. So there was a girl. I didn't know who it was at the time. Um, she came up and asked about the belt. And I'm like, oh, just gain this. And she's like, oh, I'll follow you on Twitter. Okay, great. Apparently, that was Sue Young. Oh, and it I, was. It was Sue Young. Yes, it was 100% Sue Young because she was um, sitting with Rip Swan after. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was the same girl. So um, that was kind of cool. I'm like, oh, shit. So Sue Young, hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was kind of neat. She was with like an older guy. So I'm going to assume that was like some sort of bodyguard or something. Or, if somebody or, recognized right. her. Anyway, so let's um, see. So, Who did we have there? Well, we had – there was Heath. There was Rhino. There was Joe During. There was um, – oh, my God. There were so many there, people. There were a lot of people. So we were uh, – There was we were, uh, Josh Matthews and Madison Rain were always, there. They always go to TGI. Yep. Um, um, but they were, you know, they were just they, kind of doing, doing their, their own thing. thing. So I kind of say, um, I don't know the other guy, but he was sitting with, um, with, uh, uh D'Lo Brown cause he's from there. So it wasn't a wrestler. Yeah, I don't D'Lo, think D'Lo Brown was with a couple of people. I'm not sure who they were. So they were there, but you know, um, D'Lo Brown's from Vegas. So I'm assuming that he's probably right. just hanging out there with and, his friends and, and or how, how long did it take for like the rest of them? So Swan, Young, um, an older guy. And I think like one of the costume designers were sitting, um, adjacent to us at a booth. Right, and then there was another booth with a couple of other people as well. Yes. There were two booths. I don't know the other And then people. we had Moose, Eddie Edwards, um, a producer that I think Pina Gallery oh, talked yeah, there to were the last th- Yeah, time. there were three producers and sitting they, they, next they to got us. There, they got there for some shots, and there were some fans that were buying like all the wrestlers like shots after yeah. shots, and they probably spent at least two or $300 on shots alone. Oh, yeah. They were rocking and rolling on those, but you know it was a, there was a lot of energy. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and then um, Mickey James, Gail Kim, um, Alicia Edwards, and I think uh, two other women came in a yeah. little bit after them. So, it, like this kind of transitioned into maybe about an hour and a half, two yeah. hours after the show. Um, it was a lot of fun. There, I there were there were probably about twenty of the wrestlers in there. Yeah, there was like half of the people that actually wrestled. Um, it was a lot of fun. I always enjoy going there and sitting with the wrestlers. And sometimes they'll talk to you. Sometimes they don't. Um, there was a guy that was sitting next to me that had nothing to do with it. But he was, you know, very 
happy and cheerful and yeah. friendly. So, anyways, um, we, we had a good experience. It if, was. If you, if you live in the Vegas area or if you have the opportunity to go to it, go to it. It's a lot of fun. It is. We're going to be there at Turning Point. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll be doing what we did this last time. We'll be um, we'll be sitting front row. We go to TGI Fridays before. We'll usually do like a beer or two and an appetizer. Go to the show and come back and do full dinner. So, and this was later because they were competing with uh, uh, Dynamite. Right, they had to do the show after Dynamite. So, happened. so they did a, yeah. So they did the um, they did the show like an hour later. Mm-hmm. So it was like ten o'clock by the time we get, got out. Yeah. So, anyways, what are we going to be talking about next week? Next week we are going to be doing our full review on. Well, we're doing part one. No, there's there's only room for one part because there is a pay per view event on the seventh that we have to do. Oh, that's right. So we are going to be doing the entire season of Dark Side, Dark Side of, of the Ring. There's no heckling. There's no history lesson. We're just going to do our review of the Dark Side of the Ring, and we're yeah. going to break it out into bite well, sized because, pieces. Because, because it's, it's, it's partially a discussion with heckling, and it's partially history. Exactly. So why, why would you need anything right. more than that? And there's nothing happening next week as far as pay-per-views and go. Now we're, now, we're not being lazy. The only reason we did not do a heckling or a uh, wrestling this time because we went to Bound for Glory, yep. and we left like two hours before the show. So we it, it ate up a lot lot of the time that we usually do that right so and and i think we had a pretty full show too mm-hmm. so um like i said next week all of all of um uh yeah yes yeah, so we'll do all of dark side of the ring so if you guys did enjoy this remember to <laughs> like subscribe follow us let us know what you thought were you about for glory did you watch crown jewel let us know what you thoughts in the comments down below share it with your friends become a patron links will be in the link tree down below and as always be majestic